Hey everybody, it's Kujo Fools, and today on our Survival Evolved Scorched Earth DLC, we are going to be fishing and taming a moth. So, um, the Xbox version just got the fishing rod in the last update, so I'll show you guys how to fish. So, all you need to do is learn how to make the fishing rod, which will take 15 ingram points, and tree sap, which is used for your bait. Um, in order to get to your tree sap, you have to look for a specific tree. I'll show you while I'm out exploring, looking for a moth to tame later on. But anyway, all you have to do is sit in a chair, and then equip your fishing rod, and throw it in the water. So then you just sit and wait like you would with fishing. Um, there's a series of buttons that you have to press, like a sequence. And in a 20 second span, if you get all those right, then you get a reward. If not, your line snaps and you have to start over with some new bait. So we'll go ahead and sit here and wait. As you can see, there are fish in the water. As long as you know there's fish in the water, you should be good to go. It's the secret. There we go. And as you can see, you get some stuff. Some prime fish meat, some raw fish, uh, some hide, and a little bit of thatch, which isn't all that great, but anyway. That's exactly how you fish. Oh, that wolf just fell down here. Anyway, so that's how you fish. I'll just put this all in here for now. I know it'll rot in here, but that's okay. Um, where'd that wolf go? It's gonna be a problem. Alright, let me get my raptor real quick. We'll take care of this wolf. And... Okay. So, wolf is taken care of. We're good to go. Anyway, um, I also forgot to mention that um, I actually got the glove, or yeah, the goggles and the hat. Finally, um, I'll show you guys after I tame a moth where to find crystal and stuff. There's actually mountains in this game. Or, not in this game, in this map. And I'll show you guys where to find those. But for now, we're going to try and tame a moth. I don't know what they eat or any really anything else about them. But I, the best thing we can do is learn is by trying. So we'll go ahead and give it a go. There's a whole bunch of them over here right now, so hopefully our chances will be a little better. Let's see here. If I can hit one. <sighs> Seriously? Thanks for ruining my time, dog. Okay. So that one got away. Which, I mean, really isn't that big of a deal. Like I said, there's plenty more of them unless they're like a flock and freak out and all fly away at the same time. Let's see here. Okay, we got one down. Alright, so let's see here. What do you eat? I already have a saddle for it, so let's see. Does it eat that? Yep, it does. So now we just sit here and wait for it to tame. Protect it with dear life, because there's a vulture. Oh, that scared me. Okay, yeah, so it eats berries. Well, its torpor is actually fairly high for a level four. So I should probably get some berry, some narco berries. Let's see here. Okay. And I, as you guys can see, I am 
almost level 55, so I'll be able to go get an RG, and I'll be able to fly around with that as well. Um, probably in my next episode we'll explore the Highlands, which is all that area up there. Um, I've already done a little exploring, so I kind of know where I'm going. Um, and I'll show you guys where the mountains are at after we tame this guy. So that way you guys can get crystal and a lot more metal. Um, heads up though, there is a bunch of like carnivores and stuff. So RG, RGs and carnos and raptors, saber cats, they're all pretty much chilling up there. So you just have to be a little careful. Make sure that they don't kill you while you're trying to get metal. So anyway, once he's done taming, Um, I noticed that a lot of people actually have been watching my um, ARC videos on YouTube, and it's super exciting. I'm so stoked about it. I'm just trying to keep quiet because there's other people in the uh, living room trying to watch TV. So anyway, um, I'm super excited about it. So I think I'm just going to keep go going as a series here. Um, eventually, I will tame a dragon, so you guys have to stick around for that. Um, I won't be able to do it today or... I mean, I'll tr I can attempt it tomorrow, but there isn't any promises. Um, just stay tuned on my Twitter account, and I'll be able to let you guys know if I'll be able to stream tomorrow or not. We'll see. So this guy's got a lot of food. His health's not that great. But I'm sure that's something we can fix. Um, since my last episode, I have increased um, the size of my base only by like two spaces. So I'm still in the middle. In the middle, bleh, if I could talk, in the middle of building it. So if we go back to my base and you notice that like half the wall is missing, it's because I'm still in the process of building it. I feel like I've got plenty of dinos around the base now that will protect it if anything gets damaged. So um, uh, eventually, I'll finish that up and give you guys a little tour of my base once it's completely done. I plan on making a massive one, by the way, so keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, hopefully nothing destroys it in that time. Um, also in the future, I plan on trying to tame a golem as well. So, I'll, like I said, I'll be continuing this as a series, so just stick around for it and you will definitely see some awesome content that happens. This guy's almost tamed. He's just past the halfway marker, so. Anyway, um, this saddle took about 15 engrams to unlock. So as long as you have 15 engrams and you're probably above level 40, you should be able to make it and fly around with the moth. I don't know how well their carrying weight is, so I've been trying to keep as um, light as possible kind of easy catching this guy but then again like I said in previous videos I've dumbed down the levels so I'm sure if it had been a higher level moth it would have been harder to catch so. oh and by the way if you guys have any questions about fishing just let me know um there is also I forgot to mention there is also a bait called leech blood and you will only be able to get that through catching fish. Um, maybe in some of the other maps you're able to catch le or get leech blood some other way, but not in this map because there isn't any swamps or anything that are around. So yeah, just as long as you're catching fish, you should be able to get some leech blood at some point in time and it'll, it'll yield better rewards for you. Okay, so this guy's about done. Probably about two more eating periods and then he should be good to go. Starting to get dark out. Yeah. It'll be dark out soon. Yep, one more and he'll be tame. Yay! Okay, 
So once once he's tame, we should be able to put a saddle on him. Awesome. Now let's see how he flies. Oh, it's so simple. It's just like a little fat bug. Okay. So we're going to take the raptor home. pretty easy to fly this little guy around. I feel like if we increase the movement speed that he has, he'll definitely be like a little fuzzy bullet. So we're gonna go ahead and head this way. We'll have to land a lot in order to get to the mountains, but that'll be okay. Also, I also plan on um, breeding Spike and Quilly at some point in time, so um, stick around for that, and we'll see how it goes. Now, let's try and get you up here. Okay, so there's some mountains on either side of this canyon up here on the top of the cliffs. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far back they are from, from the map border, but... Um, I did explore one, and that's where I found the crystal in order to make my goggles and the jar in my inventory. Uh, anyway, so I'll show you guys where it's at. Let's see here. This guy is a little slow, so I'm probably going to increase his movement speed with this first level up. I should work on his health a little bit too, but I don't have much to worry about in the air. Uh huh. He just... So it's like mouth farts. But it takes so much out of his stamina. We'll land over here real quick and then I'll fly you guys over to the mountains and show you where it's, everything's at. As you can see, um, the mountains are also discolored. So they're like a dark gray instead of the um, brown, uh, dusty terrain that everybody's been accustomed to because of the desert. So like all the dark gray areas that you see around you are mountains, which is pretty neat. I don't know if you can reach across those sand dunes and get to that mountain back there. I haven't attempted it yet, so it might be something to do in the future. Yeah, it'll be something that I'll probably do in the future, probably after I tame a dragon. Yeah, see? Movement speed's a little better. Okay, so up here is where all of um, the metal and crystal is at again. Um, it's pretty simple to get to if you've got a flyer. If you don't have a, um, a flyer, just a land animal, I can show you a route to get up here. So it's down over here. It's the path that I showed in one of my other videos. I used it again here. Let me land real quick so you can gain some stamina. Anyway, um, it's a path I showed, um, viewers. Ugh. Seriously, you can't leave me alone. There's like so little of those bugs, but they always seem to find me. <sighs> I can't even get any stamina. I'm going to force tame this RG in order to get home. I know it's frowned upon, but I really need something. <sighs> if it would work. I'm on the verge of dying over here. Okay, so it wasn't the greatest idea to tame that moth, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm on the verge of dying. 
This is ridiculous. Because I misspelled it. I almost died. Alright, so let's see if I can find the item catch over here for my moth. I mean, I'll tame another one, but that's really a bummer. Yeah, here it is. That really pisses me off. I just caught that poor little guy, and he just got laid out. Okay. So, anyway, you guys, I'll show you guys the route back home. Okay, so, um, where's it at? So, let's see, there should be a little valley over here that you guys can take. Like I said, do be careful because it is very hostile up here. So here's the path, and then you just take it all the way down. See how heavily <laughs> populated it is? Oh shit. Oh my god. I get no breaks. What the hell. So there's a golem guarding it. So pissed because I flew by. I must be in his yard. He must be like an old man. Get off my lawn. Anyway, so down here is the entrance to the valley that you can use. And then you just fly down into the canyon. I mean, you if you're using a land animal, it's pretty easy to get to. Just make sure that they are ready for the journey. Because that moth wasn't. That's for sure. So... I'm gonna go back over here and try to catch another moth. I should be able to do that. It won't be too hard with all of them still over here, hopefully. That really, really sucks. I didn't even have it for 10 minutes. But that's what I get for testing it out. Um, if you do get a moth, they have low health, so... Just a heads up, you guys. Let's see here. See, I know there's one out for it this way. Unless it's been attacked and chased off. There's one with yellow wings I saw. Yep, there he is. So, look at all these little jug bugs over here. See any predators, so we should be okay. Damn it, missed. Okay, we'll go chase him down. The one with yellow wings. Oh, look at all of these over here. I still can't get up there. There we go. This one's a level 20. Hopefully it gives me better ease than the other one did. I mean, that's what I get for playing in a server where everything's low level. All the tames are going to be low leveled too. 
but that's alright, that's the way I want it to be. This one's prettier too. I like its wings. Hopefully it tames pretty quickly. And since he's a higher level, he might take longer to tame as well. Yeah, I see. That's okay, though. I'm in no rush. Like my, That's my goal, is to tame a moth this episode. I've already done it once, but that's okay. Somebody's mad at football, from the sounds of it. Oh, look at that one down there. Aren't you pretty? They say the male ones are um, supposed to be much prettier than the female ones. I could try and catch this one too. If I get hit. <laughs> if I could hit something, just one shot with... Okay, no, it's going back down there. I don't want to run down there. For starters, I don't have any armor because some bird over here was nice enough to fuck up all my shit. Jerk face. Oh, I should probably get him some food. I feel like you should starve, though. That's kind of what you get. His health's depleting. Okay. There we go. Oh, I bet you his health was depleting because I kicked the crap out of him and he hadn't healed yet. Well, at least you have some food now. I hear something. I don't know if it's the moth or if it's people... Or not people. If it's scorpions down below. This one's a male, too. I didn't even get a chance to name the other one. That's so depressing. Is that a... What is that? Oh, it's a saber cat. I thought it was a jerboa, but then again, it is a distance away. Get sniped! This dumbass is gonna fly right towards me. Get caught. Yes. This is pretty sweet. I just caught another one. Level 22. Might as well tame it. I have nothing better to do. Okay. There you go. It's like a smorgasbord of moths down here which is pretty sweet so if you guys need to or want to catch a moth this would be the place for it right here on the map right dead center of all the where the rivers and stuff are at there's just moths galore down here they're all over the place so So that one's about halfway done. This one's not even a quarter, but that's okay. I just took it out. This is too perfect. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I'm terrible streak of jinxing myself and other people. Gotta stop talking about jinxing myself or else I am really going to do it. There's a little thorn dragon down there. It's a boy level 2. They're all over the place down here too, so just be careful if you do come here to, s to tame some animals. Oh, I almost fell off the cliff. That would really have sucked. What the hell? Oh, that's a boy. 
I'll catch a female eventually and try to breed, but as of right now, that's not on my agenda. I mean, I could always force tame these guys, but I want to put in some effort. I don't want to hit it. Whew, that was close. I almost punched it right in the face with a hatchet. I don't want to hurt them. They're too pretty to be hurt. They're like a jerboa. You feel bad if you kill it. I mean, some people don't, but I do. I'm gonna chop this rock, too, so I can get to this damn shrub. I only have one saddle, though. I wasn't counting on catching two. So I'll probably just have one... Or, well, probably just have both of them follow me in the RG home. Um, if you do force tame things, uh, you don't have to use a saddle to ride them. Which is kind of cool, but it also is just kind of like, why? I'm not sure why that's a thing. I think maybe it's for helping players like me that got stuck in a corner and had nowhere else to go, so I had to use a cheat. Which, I mean, I am in a single player game, so it's not like... I'm not gonna go use my R my newly tamed RG to go destroy something that somebody else built. I don't think I'd even do that in a PvP server. I'm too nice. There we go. So this guy just reached past a fourth, and this one is almost. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully these guys last longer than the other one did. By the way, if you don't know this and you want to tame a kangaroo, um, go for um, crystal. That's where the rare mushrooms are at the most. Um, if you do fish, you might get it as a reward too. Just some rare mushrooms. Not sure how that's plausible, but you do. You get some mushrooms with your fish. So, I'm waiting. I'm very impatient now. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Really makes me mad that I lost that first one. I mean, he was a weakling, and he had really low stamina, and I should have known better, but I still attempted it. I'm just glad those little bitch-ass bugs died. How you doing on food, bud? You ate it all already? Jesus. Okay, we're gonna go get him some... Oh, it's because I have all these rocks. So, dump all this. I'm gonna keep the sand so I can make clay. And then, where's that? Go after this guy. And we're gonna kill this saber cat too. Okay, so we got some food for him. There we go. We're gonna probably increase your weight, your movement speed, your stamina, so that way you don't abandon me too. Okay, so we tamed the first one. Come here, buddy. Aren't you pretty? You're gorgeous. Hey, buddy. You just chill right there. You better not fly away. to say that'd really piss me off if you just wandered off because I just tamed your ass. Okay, it is dark out. There's an RG right there. It's a male.
As long as he doesn't come up here, we're good. Because I don't think this one will have what it takes to fight it. All I have is Trank Arrows on me, but I will use them if, if I have to. Please stay away. He makes some really weird, gross noises. I thought he was going to throw up or something. So I think the only thing that they can do is fire that poisonous gas or whatever the hell it is. I don't know, I didn't check the other one. I don't think... Yeah. It's literally all they can do. It's just fart. Moth farts. Oh, I weigh too much. Hopefully this doesn't hurt me. Okay, no, we're good. No, you land there and don't, don't go anywhere else. Just stay there. Okay, this one's about to tame. Once we tame them, we're getting the hell up out of here before shit gets hairy. Okay. How's your food looking? I can give you these. That's fine. Boosted your stamina. Alright, almost done. Where's that RG at? Still wandering around down there by itself. Okay, we're good. Oh, I'm completely naked. When we get back, I'll fix my clothes. Almost done. As long as it doesn't see me, we're good. One more feeding. Let's see. Where's that? I'm kind of really paranoid right now. I don't know where that RG went. So, we got them both ready to go. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna make a quick escort home. Where'd that RG go? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going. Hopefully, you're good. Alright, I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. I feel like my base is. Yeah, my base is this way. Isn't that terrible? I'm like level 53 or 4, and I still can't remember where my base is at in this game. So you know the struggle's real, you guys. This isn't where my base is at. Wait, yeah it is. We're good. We're good. Come on, buddies. They kind of remind me of the bloat flies on Fallout 4. Two mods now, which is pretty awesome. I, 
I'm happy with the outcome, despite the fact I lost my first one that I tamed. But that's okay. These guys will do for now. Um, and like I said, I'll probably get a female and tame that as well, and then try and breed them so we can see how that works out. Um, I'll probably have some more dinos tamed by the next time I do a video. If I do, don't be surprised by it. Um, also, I will be... Uh, I'll be testing out what planet species what what the hell what planet species Y does. So stay tuned for that. So in the next episode, you can expect me to um, try and breed the thorn dragons, and we're going to test out what planet species Y does. Anyway, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.